The Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, has achieved a significant milestone with the successful first flight of its XQ-67A demonstrator, part of the second generation of Autonomous Collaborative Platforms, ACP. This breakthrough occurred on February 28, 2024, at Gray Butte Field Airport in Palmdale, California. Developed under the Offboard Sensing Station, OBSS, program, the XQ-67A represents a major advancement in unmanned aerial technology. The OBSS program introduces an innovative approach to aircraft design and production. The XQ-67A is built on a standardized chassis, or genus, similar to a vehicle's frame. This common framework allows for faster and more cost-effective replication of the aircraft, ensuring that advanced capabilities are delivered to the warfighter swiftly. This approach meets the increasing demands of great power competition by rapidly bringing cutting-edge technology to the field. Constructed by General Atomics, the XQ-67A exemplifies AFRL's commitment to rapid innovation. The demonstrator was designed, built, ground-tested, and flown within just over two years, highlighting AFRL's strategy to maintain technological superiority. The XQ-67A complements other AFRL projects such as the XQ-58A Valkyrie, the X-62 Vista, and the F-16 Venom efforts, all aiming to expedite the deployment of Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. The XQ-67A first flight included several test points and successfully completed its mission, marking the beginning of a series of flight tests to further validate its capabilities. One of the notable features of the XQ-67A is its ability to operate both under remote piloting and autonomously. This flexibility is crucial for modern combat scenarios that require quick adaptation to changing environments. The XQ-67A development is part of AFRL's low-cost attritable aircraft platform sharing LCOPS, program, which focuses on creating a core architecture, or genus, from which various species of aircraft can be developed.